Hello everyone, my name is Sonic Coker and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing something really quick now and that is that I actually managed to screw something up with the installation process uh, that I suddenly remember that you should do and it's to do with the PHP INI files. So you can download either a non-safe or a thread safe uh, download for the Windows version and in that what you want to do, like I said, is to unpack that into your PHP folder uh, I'm just going to delete these extra ones. Uh, and what you want to do is you want to go to the php.ini-development file and just get rid of that development dash. There you go. And change it into an ini file. Then inside there, you want to edit it up. So I'm just going to open it with VS Code. And inside there, you want to look for a couple of things. So first of all is we want to get access to a couple of extensions that need to work in order for Symfony to work properly. So that's curl, PDO, MySQL, and open SSL, just in case. So what we need to do is search for these. So I'm going to just control F search for these lines of code. I'll put them in the link in the description down below, uh, link in the description. No, just in the description down below. And, uh, you will see that and you can see it's commented and we just want to uncomment that by removing the semicolon. And then we also want to look for these other extensions. So they are listed here on line 910. The other one was listed on line, let's see, line 757. So the curl one is the first one that we're going to just change. Uh, so like I said, 910 and we want to uncomment that one as well. Uh, we also want to uncomment, let's see, open SSL and PDO MySQL. Those are the ones that we want to, uh, uncomment because otherwise this will not work properly and it will need to load this PHP I I file. Now to check if it is actually picking everything up. Uh, first of all, if you've added it to your environment variables and in path, if you've added PHP folder here, then what you should be able to do now is like, if it detect detects it, you can do PHP dash V for the version of the, of the, of this PHP. Uh, let's see, it's doing something, but it's not doing something right. Let's see, double dash I and I. So you can see it actually does load the PHP to die and I file. Let's see, run it again. Okay. Now the version does work. So it was just loading the configuration file again, and now it does work. So, this way you can confirm the PHP is working in your console. So this was a quick little video that I needed to do because I forgot about it. So I'm going to put this in the second position in the playlist now. So people don't forget about it. And uh, hopefully this will solve some of your problems. So sorry, my part. Thank you for watching guys, and uh, catch you in the next one. Peace.